She's in a car park. Did she create car parks? Did Emma Chamberlain single-handedly create car parks? Maybe. So I wanted to film a video today and I didn't know what to film. And I thought to myself, what can I do that is like not boring? I mean, it could be boring, but I don't think it'll be boring for me. You might suffer, but hopefully not. I may be quite young in like general terms, but in trendy terms, oh no. TikTok has told me that I don't know what I'm doing. So I thought we would use a different social media site today and we would go on Pinterest. I thought I would do some like trend research. I just thought we could sit together today. We could go on a journey. We could learn. We could learn, you know, what the kids are, what the kids are, what they're doing, what's cool. I'm making the case for me being young in this intro, just I've ruined it because I sound about 64. So there is no concept to this video. We're just going to go on Pinterest and we're going to have a, like, a look at like what's cool. Um, I think at some point as well, I'm going to do a video that involves like outfits to do with Pinterest. That's in the planning. We're going to see where this takes us. Really, I don't know. And I don't think you do either, but we're all going to find out. So we're going to go to Pinterest. I do have a Pinterest account and I have a board of like current outfit inspiration that I think is kind of cool. I just, I am of the Tumblr generation and that used to be, you see a thing you like and you put it in a place. That's what I do with Pinterest. I have no idea if that's right or not. Immediately, what are we seeing? I feel like we need to teach the algorithm what I like because I don't need I, organic nighttime tea. One thing that TikTok told me was that gap hoodies like this are, are gonna be a thing. God, if you told me a year ago, this is what we like now, this, I would have told you that you were drunk. Trendy. Oh, hold on, a trend that's not clothing. Look at the way they're bent. Look at these two girls here, right? They're both, they're both bent in a weird, in a weird way. They're both holding their stomach. They've got their, le their feet together and they're like this. Now I do Instagram as my job and I'm really outing myself here because what is that? I don't know, but we're gonna save it to trendy. Can we make any comments about mm, their outfits? One thing I'm seeing, which I know is coming back and I hate low rise trousers. I'm sorry, I'm not participating in that at all. I am not doing it. I, ref I point blank refuse, but we are gonna save it to trendy. Now, one of these girls has like a really big fluffy bag and one of them has a really small um, baguette bag, which obviously, you know, that's been around for a long time now. I don't think that's been like, a, that's not new, um, but, those are areas that we could look into. So let's save that to Trendy and save that to Trendy and also the flared trousers. We already know that's a thing anyway. So we've saved that to Trendy. The baggy clothes are really in and I don't mind that. Um, this woman who's posted a video. Now this to me looks a bit autumn just gone. I feel like this look is already dating, which is insane. Like I like this, but that just shows if I like it, it's probably wrong. Now we all know puffer coats are very on trend, but I feel like this brown um, puffer coat trend is gonna die. I really do. I love puffer jackets. I have one myself. I have a cream one, which I think is a bit more timeless. Although I'm seeing this green a lot, like in her shoes, in her jumper, in her cardigan. Green. Those cardigans are very like what we had last spring, the rise of the boob cardigan, as I like to call them, just like the little so we're gonna save that to Trendy and we'll see. They're all wearing Air Forces. Are Air Forces gonna die yet? I don't have any. Are they, go are they gonna die? Should I buy them? She's wearing Air Forces. They're all wearing Air Forces. More brown. Snake print, I don't think snake print. That was 2017. More sweater vest, more flary um, outfits. We're saving that to Trendy. Docs which is good, but like docs worn differently to how we've worn them before with like jeans. And I have actually done that myself. <laughs> and I like that look. So we're gonna save that because I think that I could, I could add that to my, well, I've already got them. So I think we could make that kind of 
shape thing. It is green. This green, right, we're gonna save this green to trendy because green, is green a thing? Have we found a trend? See, they're back there as well. Green with brown. Oh no, that's the same photo as before. It's the same photo as before. Interestingly, this look here is actually one that I had been thinking about the other day. I have looked into the possibility of getting one of these tops. It was in black. It had a less dramatic shape, just like a littler one. Thumb holes. Are thumb holes a trend? I don't know. Everybody likes to like lift their, lift their legs. Is that to show off the air forces? That's nice. I like this look. I do like this look. The little t-shirt with the little sweater vest with the little, with the trousers. Yeah. I could be, I could get on board with that. All of these clothes in like 2004, I would have been like, mom, please, can I have this? And she would have been like, no. I remember when I was younger, um, I refused to wear any other jeans except boot cut. When boot cut was originally a thing, I was like, no, no other jeans except boot cut. And look where we are. We're back more green green and brown oh one of them fluffy bags fluffy bags big fluffy bags i don't think i'll be doing big fluffy bags i just don't think they've got the longevity i've already got like a pair of baggy levi's so i feel like we've got that down and we can save something like this like i've got that already i've got the docks already what is with these poses all of these poses are like either the food poisoning so it's like the food poisoning is that when you're bent over and you're holding your stomach and then this is like the diarrhea where you're angling it away everyone is in car parks is that because of lockdown have we all attended the car park recently we shouldn't be it's not essential stay in your house and everyone's in car parks i don't own a car how am i supposed to get in a car park I'm not about to start taking Instagram pictures in car parks. If I start taking Instagram pictures in car parks in a few months, someone shoot me. And I might, because it's me. Obviously everyone has a style, but I don't really have a, a style. I think when I get dressed in the morning, and I have done this since I could wear my own clothes for school, which was at college, sixth form time. Ever since then, in the morning, I get dressed and I go, okay, what am I doing today? And who do I want to be today? What is the energy that we are giving off today? Sometimes it was like a hoodie and jeans and that was it. Other times it was like a structured black coat and like heeled boots. That's what I wore to college sometimes, like a, a structured black coat. Someone once said I looked like I worked in an office. I was 16. And I think that's why I can't decide on a style. But one thing I do know is that I do like puffer coats. They are the epitome of comfort and now fashion. Obviously Nike jumpers, she looks like she's wearing my brownies uniform. So obviously we're going to save that. Have I still got my brownies uniform? No, still got the sash. I think this blue is too much material all in the one place. I would just look like I was not supposed to be outside. I would, people would look at me and they'd be like, you've left the house in your pajamas. And I'd be like, you're not wrong. There's lots of like collars over jumper, which I've seen a lot. We're gonna save that to trendy, collar over jumper. We've got another person. Now that's more of the diarrhea pose than the stomach uh, food poisoning pose, isn't it? Wow, that is extreme bag. That is like 90s boy. That's how we're dressing. It's 90s boy. I've gotten it, it's 90s boy. We're gonna leave the Pinterest homepage for a second and we're gonna look up apparently the person that is the blueprint of all current trends apparently everyone is looking to this person even like people that work in like trend forecasting are looking at this one person to find out what's going to be cool and it's emma chamberlain i like emma chamberlain i do and i understand i understand this picture is everywhere and she's hit it all she's even added in a headband which i haven't seen other people doing so maybe that's gonna be a thing because everyone's watching her. We need to save this to Trendy. She's in a car park. Did she create car parks? Did Emma Chamberlain single-handedly create car parks? Maybe. Why do I feel like some of these images are old? They look a bit old. Let's Emma Chamberlain 2021. Ooh, there's also Emma Chamberlain aesthetic. She's got on a very Rachel from Friends haircut. Is this recent? 
Is this recent? Can someone tell me if this is recent? Three weeks ago, Emma Chamberlain got a very choppy Rachel from Friends haircut. Oh my God, it's got 2.6 million likes. And she's wearing green. <gasps> she is the blueprint. I do really like her. I watch some of her videos, especially the ones where she goes to Paris with Louis Vuitton and eats a load of really expensive food and it makes me really sad because I want to live that life. Difficult with Pinterest because it's like, is this image from now or 2012? So we've got these like second skin tops, which I have one, I own. Uh, so we're gonna save that because I can recreate that. I like it. I like the little bag, the jumper, the little flared trousery jean things. I like them. I do, I like it. Here we are, trendy. So we pinned 21 things in this video. What are our findings? Our findings are Emma Chamberlain is the blueprint for everything. Sweatshirts. I think in autumn we saw a lot of hoodies. I think now we're seeing sweatshirts. Like, not hoodies with a big hood, sometimes. But we're really seeing like school sweatshirt type vibes. The v-neck sweater vest is still here. But it's not as like, it's not the newest of the new. That was here in autumn. We saw that. We knew that. Green. Green. We found green. The second skin kind of tight mesh tops. That is going to be a thing. The flared trousers are going to be a thing. Absolutely. I have got a few pairs of them. I've got a couple. I got them back in September. I just want to go on her um instagram there was a time that i was at an event and someone was talking about emma chamberlain and i got her mixed up with someone of a similar name wasn't emma chamberlain and they were talking about it and they were like oh yeah i love her instagram and i just thought they were someone that she knows and i was like oh yeah yeah she follows me and they were like what and i was like yeah i'm pretty sure it might be someone else but it definitely wasn't emma chamberlain i went home and i looked it was someone completely not emma chamberlain are our findings correct? Oh my God, she's going even further. She's going even further. She's got the tiny bag. So plastic, <gasps> we're gonna see this. Look, this is not an image that I saw before. This has not been yet put on Pinterest. So this could even be like even newer into the future. The nails, the nails are colored and the rings are colored in correspondence with the nails and they're like plastic. So basically I'm doing it all wrong. <gasps> She's just taking it. Docks with the, docks with the flares. This jacket is not anything that I've seen on Pinterest and she's wearing it. So it's gonna be on there soon. Mark my words. Her merch is made to look like old 90s, early 2000-ish, brightly colored t-shirts and hoodies with like the stuff rubbed off them. She's ahead of the trends, like she sets them. She sets them, she puts them in place and she leaves and she moves on to the next thing. She's the blueprint. Ombre trousers, are ombre trousers a thing? See, Pinterest can't even compete. Pinterest can't, she's doing the diarrhea pose. She's doing the legs out. From this video, I have learned that even Pinterest is out of date when it comes to Emma Chamberlain. We've opened a can of worms. This video is a bit pointless, but maybe we, we went on a journey together. We spent the afternoon together. We took a moment to reflect, to learn. Learn from the younger generation. How old is Emma Chamberlain? Hey Siri, turn off aeroplane mode. Hey Siri, how old is Emma Chamberlain? Hey, hey Siri, how old is Emma Chamberlain? Emma Chamberlain is 19 years old. She's 19. She's 19. 2001. This is why they say we're old on TikTok. Because if Emma Chamberlain is born in 2001 and she is the blueprint, then everything that came before her is in the bin. I am in the bin. We've been on a journey today, everyone. Um, I think I'm gonna do a video where I get my friend Abby to dress me in Pinterest outfits that she's gonna pick. So if you wanna see that, let me know, because I think that's gonna be really funny. And I'm gonna look like even more of an old woman when I try them on, because I'm gonna be like, oh, what's this? Sometimes I'm, I can be cool, I promise, but not a lot of the time. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm stuck behind this desk. I'll see you in the next video.